Hi guys and welcome to this new video format called Cobra Quick Bytes. In this video I will literally be summing up a uh, individual units and uh, their types, their stuff, what they do, what they don't, in literally try and get it in, in under 8 minutes. So here we go. So today we're taking a look at infantry, their do's, their don'ts. What do infantry do? They are the meat and potato of every faction within Heroes and Generals, both America, Germany and Soviets. What you're looking at right now is Jan Schmidt. He is my basic infantryman, as you can see in my army list, uh, for my German faction. Now, uh, the main reason for this unit is to capture and defend points. It's that simple. They are literally the meat and potatoes of the entire faction, regardless of what that faction is. Uh, weaknesses is also their strengths. Their weakness is because they're not a specialized unit, i.e. they do not gain access to specific mo modifications, i.e. Uh, for example, the Car 98 k uh, This weapon uh, gets specialized mods if you're a recon. You don't get access to those mods as an infantryman. Uh, like I said, it's their strengths and their weaknesses. Big bonus, lots of access to multiple weapons as you can see here, varieties of LMGs. Uh, semi-automatic rifles, automatic rifles, i.e. the Sturmgewehr 44, the MP40, the MP34, Machine, machine Gewehr uh, 42 and the Machine Gewehr 34. At the same time, a variety of pistols as well. You get the, the, uh, the, the uh, Mauser C96. You also get the P08 Parabellum and the Walther P38. Now, uh, weapons and gear, depending on your play style, for example, if you want to uh, be a, a very defensive soldier, what you can go with is you can go with an MG build, i.e. MG42, MG34, and quite literally follow that up with a pistol if you're caught in the middle of a reload, or follow it up with a melee weapon, just on the off chance that you really need to, to kill that guy. You know, he's, ru he's bum rushing you, you swap to your knife, instant McStabby, he's dead. Um, one of my favorite builds that I like to do is something similar to this where let me just increase the ammo count um, there we go this is the, the build i typically go with when it's an lmg whether it be an mg42 or an mg34 a pistol backup of course and a bayonet now this build is a defensive build i.e once your team if you're defending an objective for example this is perfect for you because you can set up in a in an area where there's very little lanes that can come and get at you where you can just open up that machine gun and just keep firing, just keep firing, just keep firing. Pretty much. Or you can go an aggressive build. An aggressive build would consist of using a, a submachine gun, for example, like an MP34, MP40, or my typical favorite, Sturmgewehr. Now, my Sturmgewehr, I tend to just run uh, a field trigger, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you go with a Sturmgewehr, and you go with your H3 anti-tank grenades. Now, why anti-tank grenades? Well, you're being aggressive, which means if they're defending a point, there's going to be armor on that point to help defend that point. Therefore, you're going to need a way of taking out that armor. You could, of course, go with a bazooka. You could, of course, go with a Panzerstreich. Uh, however, I don't because they're just too too heavy, too finicky, too clumsy, and they slow your soldier down. As where you could go with the Panzerwerfermine Langs. That's uh, throwable, uh, throwable anti-tank grenades. Uh, which are actually quite fun to use, but again, you know, they're the same weight, as you can see, as the H3s. So you're better off just taking the H3s, because it only takes two H3s to destroy any armor in the game. So, now, of course, badges. What badges are you going to take to uh, pretty much just go with uh, uh, your soldier? If you're like me and you have access to a veteran membership, which means you get to use two badges, of course, you take the ubiquitous heavy set to make sure that those annoying one-shot kill bolt action rifles really don't drop you unless it's a headshot. And you can go with fast reload, especially if you're using an MG42 that has a, over a six second reload. If you're using an assault rifle like an uh, MG42 or an MP40, you don't really need fast reload. You could probably go with quick point of fire, good for hip fire, as you can see, plus 75% accuracy when you're hip firing. Uh, or you could go with tight grip. Um, again, I don't suggest you go with, with the tight grip because, again, tight grip is synonymous with a, a light machine gun. Uh, and pretty much, if you're going to go with fast reload and tight grip, that's a good aggressive build to take. But I, I, I really can't suggest that. So go with the tried and true heavy set and fast reload. Now, if you really want to be extra stealthy, you could always grab your nimble, which means 75% less sound that you make 
while you're in a building, which means for those people out there who like to sound hoar, i.e. they've got a really expensive gaming headset like myself, and they just turn the volume up, and they just listen to the footsteps, it's like, oh, he's upstairs, third room, go in there, dead. You know, that will help reduce that sound. Uh, so yeah, overall, that's one thing you can do. If you really want to go uh, uh, um, infantry hunting, you could always take infantry first and uh, um, heavy set and literally just go hunting with uh, uh, Panzer Ververmangs. Uh, I believe it will take, uh, I believe one Panzer Ververmine, Lang Mine, will actually destroy um, a Jeep. However, you will need two or three to take care of an APC. Other than that, that's pretty much it, badges wise. So, do's and don'ts for the unit. Plain and simple. Do stay alive. Don't die. Uh, do go for objectives, uh, but go with groups. Don't go by yourself. You're not a lone wolf. Okay, you're not Rambo. Go in a group. If you're squatted up with your friends, for example, you click on here. And as you can see, you, you just grab one of your friends on the friends list. You just grab click little plus sign, invite them to your squad, and you're talking on Discord, Ventrilo, TeamSpeak, Skype, whatever your VOP, VOP choice is, you can easily uh, uh, coordinate an effective defense or an effective attack. Uh, and pretty much that is it. Now, I will go into detail about one faction in particular, and that is the Soviet faction. Uh, the one thing that the Soviet faction have of a regular infantry is a weapon like the PTRD, which is designed to destroy uh, um, jeeps, APCs, and even planes and light armored tanks. Um, I like to go on a, on a PTRD squad with both myself, 60 Spider-Man, uh, and either FU Grim Reaper or uh, Fearless Indian. Some of my followers over on uh, YouTube Gaming here on YouTube, or uh, over on Hitbox. And literally, what we do is we pull up a cotton crad with an armor, with a, an ammunition crate, and we literally just find a nice little spot, and we all just take turns tagging a plane. Tag, tag, tag is dead. Tag, tag, tag is dead. Tag, tag, tag is dead. Oh, jeep, tag destroyed. Oh, look, here's a, here's an APC, Alpha Strike. We all fire on it. It's all destroyed, and eventually, about maybe two to three minutes into it you'll tend to pull a lot of aggro and you'll tend to upset quite a lot of players and you'll tend to get them very very salty so pretty much um like i said because the the, the infantry are quite literally the the be uh, bread and butter of any faction you can modify your soldiers to be a whole slew of different soldiers for example uh, i have two infantry soldiers in the americans this is unknown soldier his specialty attack he loves to attack positions um, as where uh, Patton's best friend loves to defend as you can see he uses Hufflung and H3s and a semi-automatic Garand that's ultimately what they do uh, uh, like I said unknown soldier with Mustang Molly he just loves to go in and end it uh, and then if I'm defending I will switch out to Patton's best friend and defend now again I do use the bazooka as you can see, we're on Patton's best friend simply because it's just fun to use. However, H3s will get through heavy armor, as well as Bazooka, uh, it tends to not. But yeah, like I said guys, that's pretty much infantry. Um, please leave a like, a comment. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. And most importantly, this has been Cobra Quick Bites, and I'll see you in the next video, my friends.